Okay, let me clarify where the common difference now. The common difference, the one we call the common D. Where the common difference, also known as the D, where the A is equal to the first term. Let me clarify where the common difference is equal to a negative or a positive. When numbers, when a series like maybe 2, 4, 6, 8, and then you want the next two terms, okay? You want the next two terms. If you can look at the numbers, they are in ascending order. From the smallest, they are going all the way up. Therefore, we'll be saying term number 2, take away term number 1. Term number 2, take away term number 1, will give us 2. Look at term number 3, take away term number 2. Term number 3, take away term number 2. Term number 4, take away term number 3. It's giving us a common difference of a positive value. That's when we can use it in, in our equation to find the term that we want. Okay. D will always be positive. Common difference will always be positive when the numbers are in ascending order. Take a look at this now. When the numbers are descending, the D, the D will be a negative. Okay. Let's say you have zero. Okay. We can say maybe a negative of five, negative of three, okay, negative of one. Look at this, okay, and then there will be a one. Instead of zero, there will be a one. Okay, this is an increase. I want this, I want this. Let's start from the biggest numbers. These are small numbers. Okay, maybe we have 80. We have 70. We have 60. Okay, we have 50. This is what I wanted now. When you want your, if this is your T of 1, the second term, third term, fourth term, look at what happens when you want your common difference. Your common D will be getting second term, second term, take away first term. Which will mean, which will mean second term will be what? 70 take away 8. Giving us a negative of that. Third term. Take away second term. It will also give us a difference. Fourth term. Take away third term. Look at the common difference. The common difference will be giving us a negative. That's why I said, when you're starting from big numbers, descending to smaller numbers, your common difference carries a negative because you'll be taking away smaller number from a bigger number. 70 take away 8. 60 take away 70. 50 take away 60. And so you'll be having negative values. That's why I needed to clarify to say the common difference will always be such that when numbers are arranged in numerical order, maybe in ascending order, you have a positive. In descending order, meaning they are reducing, you'll have a negative. Thank you very, very much.